So, we are building a computer in Delo 304's room today. And in before, someone bitches about the RAM being not matched. But we don't care, because we are the kings, the masters of YOLO. <laughs> What's up guys, Delo 304 here. Today we're going to be doing yet another computer video in my typical style. So, uh, that we yeah. have not seen in many years. Yeah, it's been at least since 2013 since I've done this. Or 2014, actually. So... Basically, I decided to go full YOLO again and build another computer because the uh, in this guy and a bunch of other people have been playing GTA 5 so far. And so, I uh, built this computer, which is actually a Core 2 quad machine out of just spare parts I had, so it cost me like zero dollars. This obviously did not cost me zero dollars, but basically, we've determined that this computer is going to be a bit old. And, uh, well, I was originally going to actually use it to try to play GTA 5, but then we went to Fry's. We saw this combo deal for a Core i5-4690K and the uh, Gigabyte Z97 motherboard for a pretty good price. We saved probably about 120 bucks on that combo, so that's cool. And then, of course, I had to pick up some RAM because I don't have any DDR3 RAM anymore. Chris actually gave me these. This is a 4 gig kit of Patriot memory, so that's cool. And then I also just uh, picked up a cheap 8 gig stick of DDR3. And so for, for pretty much for all intents and purposes with this build, like, what we're going to do with this build is not going to really... The, the, the performance difference between single channel and dual channel is going to be negligible. Yeah, it's not going to so matter. So, really, the quantity okay. of RAM is going to matter more okay. than the paired in, the paired bit of it. So that's exactly. kind of why we're going with mismatched pairs. We need quantity, not quality right now. Of course, we have Lucas, of course. And uh, so that's going to total our tw us at 12 gigs of RAM. You may recognize this card. This is actually my old GTX 760 that I bought that I eventually handed off to Chris, but since Chris is going to be getting a 770 soon, uh, he decided to sell this back to me for a pretty good deal. So, I have the 760 back again, so that's cool. And then we just picked up this, it's an Intermax, kind of a Hyper 212 clone because they don't sell the 212 anymore. Should be good, I don't plan to overclock the uh, i5 that much. A mobile silence for the Hyper 212, it was a good cooler. It was a very good cooler. And then. Again, you may re recognize this case. This is my old uh, Corsair Carbide 300R that I also handed off to Chris at some point. It does have some components in it. It does have some components in it which we are going to be using. One of them is a RAID Max 630 watt power supply that Chris has had for five or six years now. And, and it's usually it's a piece of shit, but you know what? It's lasted this long. So I think it's, I think it's all right. May as well use it. And then of course, in the computer, we have. A UAMD build. Yeah, we have an AMD build in here right now. As it's, you can a, see. it's a Phenom Quad. Actually, this com this system here is actually my system from 2010. Yeah, there so you go. So this thing's been around the block quite a, quite a bit. Yeah. Original motherboard, original processor, power supply. Like, this is all my 2010 build right here. There we go. And this hard drive is temporary. This is Chris's. He's just going to use it to copy over the game files. And then, of course... Before I forget, we have an SSD, an 840 EVO inside that Dell laptop, which I'm going to pull out of there and use it for this build. But, yeah, that's enough talk. Of course, you get the Gigabyte motherboard as well. So I think I've went over everything. today. Right now, we are going to pull everything out of this case and prep it for the build. That's the first thing I want to do. And then, of course, we're going to clean it out because it's pretty dusty in there. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be pulling out the motherboard CPU, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave the power supply in there because I'm going to use it, obviously. So let's go ahead uh, and get started with that. And that's a Hyper 101 right there. So we're going to go ahead and remove the screws, and then we'll be right back. Yeah, exactly. Get this out in the first place, Jesus. I don't know, but I, I'm going to quickly record a small rant here because this is like, I honestly feel this this gigabyte board. It's an 890 GPA UD3H, as you can kind of see right there. This is the last good gigabyte board I feel like I, I've ever bought because my the one in my current custom build is a pile of junk and like every time I, I do a BIOS update it, like I have to do a bunch of arcane steps to get it to come back to life. Meanwhile, I've had very good luck with like, every gigabyte, but gigabyte board. I've ever gigaboard. Had. <laughs> um, gigaboard. Yeah, but like this this board started out shit. It became much better, like with BIOS updates related. Actually, there was a beta update for uh, to give it AM3 Plus support, but then the gigabyte pulled it. I don't know why, but I figured I'd get that bit in there. I'm like, we're polar opposites on that, but I I just feel like this is the last good gigabyte board I've ever had. So I have a feeling that because we have differing opinions, it only makes us closer as friends. <laughs> Okay, the case has been mostly prepped. Got to clean this fan still, but 
it still uh, looks a lot cleaner than it was before. Just wiped it down with some alcohol. So now I say, well, I'm going to clean that fan, but the next video part I'll be recording is putting the CPU and RAM on the motherboard like I always do this. Okay, so here we have the uh, Gigabyte GAZ97X SLI. Of course, this is a Z97 chipset motherboard, one of the newest ones you can get. Pretty decent. Uh, this looks very similar to the Z87 board I had before, except it's red accent now, which is going to go perfectly with the card, so that's cool. Of course, the RAM's going to be blue, but honestly, I'm going for uh, cost savings instead of matching colors here. Make like so. Linus and paint it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's the board. We have the uh, Intermax cooler, which I'm going to pull out right now. i got some RAM here, and then Chris somewhere has the processor. It's actually behind you. Oh, okay. So let me grab that real quick. And, of course, we have the Core i5 4690K. So we're going to take all of these out and stick them on there. So I think what I'm going to do first is get the CPU on there because that's the hardest part. I guess so. Chris, Chris is going to pop open the box. having some difficulty here. So um, all, the only part you're going to need when you're unboxing your CPU is in fact the CPU itself. The CPU itself. This thing. Everything else is uh, useless. Thank you, sir. Okay. I don't even so know how to get away with oh, that. Oh, the other thing you're going to need is the case sticker. Definitely going to want that. No. No, no. Okay, so what? So you will notice here that um, Whoa. authorized use of Intel logo, right? We're going to go ahead and we're just going to like no, 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 pull no. this off and then we're going to put it on a phone with a <laughs> Snapdragon CPU. In it. Ooh. I'm going to let you finish, but you got a free Windows 10 upgrade, man. Bruh. I don't want you. Actually, of course, before I build the computer itself, you got to put the stickers on. That looks pretty nice. So Why have you forsaken Windows 10? Well, Why fuck. You not, did you know it rubs the Windows 10 on its skin or it gets the hose again? <laughs> All right, let's actually get this going. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put the CPU in. Of course, as you can see, we have the Core i5. So let's stick this bad boy in there. Nice. There she is. Let's go ahead and lock it down. Boom. There it is. Now we need thermal paste. Oh, boy. Don't eat it this time. <laughs> Fuck. This, this video, I swear to God. Okay, before I do that, let's unbox the cooler. You don't have to keep rolling. But what if I want to? I'll suck my nut. All right, we're just doing the CPU mm -hmm. cooler, and we've got thermal paste with the CPU. Now, we're gonna show you what to do with the thermal paste that comes with your CPU. <laughs> Use good thermal paste. Okay, so we're gonna do something prudent here and we're going to not turn this into a tech support gore post here by actually removing this sticker oh yeah one of those stock photos <laughs> you ever seen those stock photos where they have like like a soldering iron right here and they're just like oh god they're like no and like so many tech support gore posts are like someone forgot to remove that cover and they oh, cooked yeah, their I cpu saw that, dude. Yeah, so we're not gonna we're not gonna turn this into one of those videos. We're like, why is my CPU running so hot? <laughs> well, cause you're a fucking retard. But for what it's worth, this thing actually feels really nice. Like it's yeah. not, it's got some heft to it. Hopefully, it's just as good as the G12. I think it will be. Watch as Dello 304 eats his thermal paste yet again. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and put a little. Uh... Put the whole thing on. Piss people off. No, I'm good. I think that's probably good. It's not good enough. Okay. That should be more than enough. I really like that mounting system. Yeah, nice. It looks a lot better than the Hyper 212s by a long shot. The 212s, dude, is such a pain in the ass. No kidding. I have to remove the fan for this. Okay. Okay, that's how it goes. Alright, so I'm going to try not to screw this up. <laughs> screw it up. Okay, I got it on there. 
Yeah, because, like, the 212, like, the whole thing can, like, just turn whenever it wants. This actually has two little divots here that hold it in place. It's a much more thought-out mounting system. Say so nice. Okay, after many, many minutes of trial and error, we got this cooler on here. Uh, I just have to say that this, whoever designed this mounting system, is an absolute imbecile because it took us about 20 minutes to get this on there. Because to get this middle mounting bracket on there, you have to push down so hard because the threads won't line up otherwise. These springs are too strong, that's the problem. But it took, again, about 20 minutes to get this on here. We had to remove the heatsink like four times. It was so stupid. But we finally got it on there. The i5 is in with Arctic Silver 5. And uh, we're going to take the fan, go ahead and put this back on, and then we're going to stick our RAM in. So give me a second to do that. Alright, so we got the cooler and the fan on. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Like I said, I mean, the cooler looks neat. And then we got the RAM on. So we have the 8 gig stick behind there, and then the 2, uh, two gig sticks right there. So there we go. So now let's get the board in the computer. He All right. lied. All right, people, the board is in. We are good to go. This cooler is flexing the crap out of this motherboard, but then again, that cooler also does that to that computer, and it's been fine. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Next, let's go ahead and plug in all the power supply stuff that we need to plug in, and then we'll do the graphics card, and hopefully it'll boot. Okay, so the computer is built finally. We have everything in here. Let's go ahead and see if she'll post. Smoke test! Well, it didn't blow up yet. That's good. Let's go ahead and hit the power button. And nothing happened. Um, I think... Oh, yeah! With this, the power button's broken on this case, so you have to wire the reset button instead. I forgot to tell you. Uh, Alright. Okay, so the computer is built. We got everything in there. Uh, Chris failed to tell me that the power button on this case is broken since I last had it, so you got to use the reset switch. So let's go ahead and try that. There oh, we go. Oh, smoke test. Now it's working. Do we have? Do we have a post? We. Uh, 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 it might try to output the iGPU first. No. Oh, you know what? I think I have to switch the input. You. Because genius. this this monitor is so retarded. It does not have any input switching automatically, which is the most retarded thing I've ever seen. Oh. There we go. There it is. I did not plug the oh. keyboard. I didn't plug the keyboard in, but let's see if it boots or gets the blue screen. Never mind. It booted. We're good. Okie dokie. So the computer is on and running. As you can see here we have 4690K. Doing pretty good with the temps. This is at stock clocks. I'm not going to overclock it yet. But uh, we have 12 gigs of RAM, so that's cool. A 840 Evo, of course it's 64 bit. I do need to redo this because this is from my laptop, but that's cool. And then we have the uh, local disk, which is the 840 Evo, and then we have a 250 gig Seagate drive. I will be putting a one terabyte in this pretty soon. Uh, my friend is sending me that for a pretty low cost, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this build video, and see you guys later.